Welcome back. I am on my way to a doctor's appointment because I have a cold in my chest and I'm gonna do a big no-no here and pop a cough drop in my mouth just so I don't start coughing. Okay, the, um, the doctors that I go to is in my hometown which is a half an hour away from the town that I'm currently living in. Um, I just continue to keep my original doctor because he's been my doctor my whole life and my family and stuff live up in here, up in the town I'm going to, so it's not that big a deal to drive there. And doctors around here are extremely hard to get into. Excuse the way I look. I look, uh, I don't know, bloated. My face is red. But, oh God. And uh, this little thing that I attach my phone into doesn't want to stay onto my vent. It's a uh, faux pas to uh, turn my camera or upload vertical videos. I am aware of that. Sorry for the lighting into guys. Um, whoops, I'm in third gear. Um, I've tried coming up with a, a better solution. Oh my god, my hair is just awful today. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've been sick for, well let's see, I op uploaded the video because my daughter nagged me and nagged me. She's like, oh my gosh mom, if you don't put that up, I'm going to be so mad. I'm like, I know, but I just don't, I don't feel comfortable. And then I'm sick. So I haven't been feeling the greatest and anyway, and I completely got sidetracked as to what I was saying. Huh. I have made a few other videos, <laughs> I just delete them because I don't like them. And having curly hair is a pain in the rear end. It's not even dry yet, I can't even tell you how big my hair gets. <laughs> gets big big when it's dry and I've only just started wearing it curly again I usually straighten it but when I straighten it I have a ton of people saying oh I love your curly hair but they don't have to deal with my curly hair um, it can get uh, very dry and I'm in bad need of uh, color put into it, but my hair is so, uh, I don't know, it's not cool, it's, it's soft, it's just, I don't know, whenever I get color put into it, it really damages it even more. I hate how it's going around my face here, it's peeving me off, and usually I just stick a pair of sunglasses on my head and shove the whole thing back, but my sunglasses broke, <laughs> so... And I really don't like this angle. It's awful. Nothing's going right today. Yeah, so anyway, I have made a few videos and I just didn't upload them. I just deleted them all. And uh, I, I want to get started talking about some of the paranormal stuff because I'm really, that's what I'm interested in too. And, um, I'm always looking up stuff on, on the internet and YouTube. Just because of some of the experiences that I've had, I'm drawn to it. And uh, But I just, I don't know where to start. And I don't know how to start. Because my very first experience, it's, um, it's it doesn't have to be a long story, but I don't know how to tell a story without making it long. 
and I think I'm gonna have to draw a diagram as well on a piece of paper to explain it. I mean, it's not anything major, but it's, I did actually see a ghost. I'll just tell you that. And he spoke to me. And I had one other person to verify that. And I know you're gonna think, oh yeah, right. I'm telling you, no lies, no lies. Um, and there's been other things. I have a lot of um, little things that happen to me. Like, I'm not saying, you know, this, oh, look at this one curl. I can see, oh, good lord. Okay, I'm into a school zone. I gotta go down to 50 here. <laughs> Major turtle crawl. I can't afford to find if I get nailed in the school zone here. Um, I do have a lot of little things that happen to me that, um, like I get an image in my mind, just clear to the blue. Has no rhyme or reason. I don't. I don't know why. And then something comes up, like some. It comes true, or I, it's hard to explain. I'll give you a quick little thing. Okay, I'll try to. I'm already six minutes in, and that's. I don't have a lot of storage on my phone. Um. So one time handy to, it's not that far from where we live, but you know, sometimes you go for a drive. Well, <clears throat> went for a drive one time and uh, <laughs> I seen this this big house and it's a, a, a quite a little historically fishing village kind of thing. And there's a house there and I've seen it many, many times. But this one particular time I looked up at it and I had a feeling come off of, a feeling come into me. Not a scary feeling, it was more like a, um, like a, a knowledge kind of feeling. And I still don't know exactly, but the feeling that came off of the place to me when I looked up at it, I could see the host like you and I would see it. But it also came across to me as kind of like a, the right word is a sanitarium or sanatorium. There's two different meanings, but kind of like a home, <coughs> sort of like, a, you know how there were like TB places that people went to, like a facility to get better. Kind of like that kind of feeling. Not a nursing home, not a makeshift hospital, none of that. I got a shift here. It was kind of like people had been there and spent time there to get better. I don't know. So, but I also got an image of a woman standing in the front of the house. And she had on a long skirt and she had on a blouse. Her hair was came out like this and went up into like a bun. And I got an image of a big wheel, like a, a really big wheel. So in my mind's eye, what I thought I was seeing, what I pieced together was it was similar to that of like an old fashioned wheelchair, like a wicker kind of wheelchair. Anyway, my partner was like, well, there's people up on the veranda, let's go up and ask, I'll ask them the history. And I'm like, no, they're gonna think we're crazy. So we did it. Well, a couple of weeks later, my partner was on a, uh, he goes on this, I don't know, on Facebook, there's a guy who uploads old fashioned black and white pictures of the town that he grew up into and the little neighboring towns. And he said, he texted me a picture. He gets said, look at this. And it was a picture of that house with a woman standing in the front, but she was standing, and she was standing <coughs> beside a wheel, but the wheel was attached to a wagon, but it was exactly like I'd seen, sort of, 
in my mind. It blew me away. She had the same long skirt, the same kind of hair, the hairdo and everything. And if I remember, I'll try to dig it out. Well, that's when he first believed me because he is so closed-minded about things. And I'm like, I told you, that's what I saw. That is exactly what I seen. A lady standing in front of the house beside a wheel. That's all I could tell you. I put it together that it was a, a wheelchair. But anyway, it's a lot of little things that happened to me like that. Nothing that I could, you know. I can't dial in on anything. It's just sometimes when I see something, something else comes into my mind different from what other people see. <coughs> So that's why I've kind of been attracted to the um, paranormal world. And, uh, you know, I have, I can't go into, I can't explain about the place. I work in a residential care facility and I have had some experiences there. But I can't say much because I do currently still work there and I don't want to get fired. Um, but, you know, the place has a lot of history. It's quite old from the 1800s. And, and uh, it was a poor farm. And that's pretty much all I can tell you. I have had experiences. No, nope, not many other people. There's another one girl there who does, who's had some experiences too. But everybody else thinks you're crazy. But anyway, that's about it. This is going to be a crappy vlog. Sorry that I sound shitty. Sorry that I look shitty. And uh, hopefully, I can. Uh, muster up the energy to maybe start trying to upload my stories of things that have happened. They're not anything major, except for the one where I did see a ghost. And, uh, but you know, okay, so I'm just rambling at this point. <coughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm going to get back to driving. So take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.